Welcome back to the channel and today at Instruments of Destruction we are in the workshop once again looking at insane creation starting with the Demon Crystal by Pyrotechnikid and uh, you spawn this thing in and it looks kind of crazy. It looks very ominous, very interesting. Uh, apparently with the arrows you can control the height and creations in this game are getting kind of crazy. Wait, are the- oh I didn't even realize these panels are, they're color shifting. And uh, this thing is apparently very fast. Let's run it into something. Okay, we just, we're a little bit too high. Okay, it's still just going right through it anyway. All right, how about this? Oh, that was satisfying. All right, I gotta go at like the bottom level of something here. This thing is unbelievably fast. That was amazing. It kind of like, vaporizes everything that it comes in contact with. The stuff that is like immediately contacted with it seems to kind of disappear and then everything else just kind of blasts away. Like you see, like it just kind of opened up like there was nothing there anymore. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, when I get just close to something, you see that? I wasn't even touching it. What about this building? How close do you have to get? Oh, when I'm pressing any directional button, something is happening. I'm not sure, I'm not actually sure what, maybe it's one of the uh, vortexes or something on push. That's an awesome idea though. Okay, I have an amazing idea for this. I'm gonna go out over here and now I'm just gonna go through every single building like dominoes. This is probably gonna lag the game out, but this is exciting. Here we go, three, two, one, go. I can't even see. Well, uh, there you have it. All right, well, this is definitely one of the more fun creations to play around with, but uh, we got plenty of other stuff on the workshop that are completely different, so let's move on. All right, up next, we have Super Mortar by Dark. So this is interesting. It appears to be exactly what it says, just a mortar. And I guess we use arrows to aim left and right. And by the looks of it, I don't think we can actually aim up and down, but you can see that this uh, trajectory here is showing it's gonna hit this building. So then we press E and it starts firing. And it's not the most accurate line, but it's very, 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 like I have it just on right now. I'm not pressing the button anymore. This is its rate of fire. It is just firing at a constant rate right now. All right, here, let's move over to this one now. This one has dummies on it. It might be actually be a little bit closer. It is such a slow rate of fire. All right, right at the base of the building. That might be able to do something. This building has a much uh, narrower base. There it goes, and there goes the dummies. Bye-bye, dummies. Enjoy the ground. Oh, they're gonna get hit. Oh, that was like a direct hit on all of them. Conceptually, very, very simple creation. Very interesting design though with it, with these cables and whatever all this stuff is. But uh, we got some more to look at, let's move on. All right, up next is a handy creation by Thorns for Roses. And oh, no way, is this gonna actually float on its own? Okay, well, there, it's on the ground now. I don't know how to use it. Oh, oh my, wait, I don't understand. I don't understand it quite yet, hold on. Uh, uh, okay, we go, whoa, this thing's so fast. Oh, I see. And then what is the thumb button? So Q, W, E, and R uh, correlate with the fingers you would be using. I kind of wish it was a left hand because I'm using my left hand on those buttons. Whoa, okay, there's a punch button. Right shift is, uh, I killed myself. <laughs> oh, okay, right control and right alt are height. Here we go. Whoa. Oh boy, it's like the master hand from uh, Super Smash Brothers. All right, so there's a punch button, look at this. Okay, I can make a fist, but then if I hold right shift, it literally punches all on its own. Okay, I definitely gotta try this out. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know how to aim it that well. It seems to go like off to the side a little bit. All right, ready? There we go. This is an amazing idea for a creation. Like now that you, it's easy to make things kind of float in place and control where you're facing. All right, but now I gotta actually mess with the fingers. It looks like there are uh, grabber blocks on the actual fingers themselves. Oh, V is the thumb. Oh, that actually, that works. Now I have individual control. Look at this. I have individual control, very agile over every finger. You know, don't forget to smash that like button. I'm gonna go over there now. Here we go. 
Hello. Poke. Poke. I'm gonna grab. I wanna grab something now. I'm just gonna grab this building. There we go. I've grabbed something. What did I get? This debris. Oh. I'm like actually. Come on. Come here. Come here. I've actually grabbed onto like a stationary part. Oh. All right. Punch time. This is so cool. This is actually so cool. And expand. And grab. And expand. Grab, expand. Grab, expand. All right. Can I grab just the top? Down a little bit. All right. And grab. Mine. <laughs> This is really fun. High five! Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. I, I, I promise I'll, I'll never I'll never do that again. All right. Pinky promise. Pinky promise I'll never... Oh, I'm sorry. All right. I'm, you know, let's just move on to the next creation. Okay. Up next... Whoa, this is way bigger than I was expecting. Whoa. This is the crystal by Arch G. This is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Okay. All right. We're here. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, wait, what? Okay, okay, hold on. All right, close back up. What? What does T do? Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. I don't understand. Oh, and then I can just go? What? How does this work? Oh. You know, this vehicle is definitely Wedge Gang approved, for sure. I gotta look at what the controls actually are, though. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, I had to hold it longer. Uh oh, I gotta balance. Hold on. Auto balance. Auto balance. There we go. Oh. All right. Up arrow to go up. There we go. And then... Yeah, oh, then we can fly around. All right, the steering isn't working too well. Okay, we're just going. I'm just going to fly off the map now. All right. My people need me. I'm flapping. Okay, up next is the... Okay, up next is the Dummy Blob Tester by Sham Wool. And this thing looks like a torture device. One of these buttons... Oh. Oh, okay, I see. I see. What are those things? Are those like coconuts or something? Oh, boy. Okay, I see why they call it the Dummy Blob... Uh, I don't know what's happening anymore. All right, so now we have different weapons that we can test. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, that was actually interesting. What did that? Oh, okay, so now this gun, now we can see the effect of that gun. There's like some type of other force going on. Number four. Okay, these are like the vacuums, the turbine vacuums. They can like push the dummies. All right, number five. Oh, oh, this is actually, I feel like I'm doing science right now. Oh, that was cool. Wait, 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 stop. Stop, please stop. Okay. Uh, is there number six? Oh. Well, that's what number six does. This is just a torture chamber for the dummies. That's all this is. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reset. All right, you know what I'm realizing? I actually need to get rid of the contaminants. So first, I will attract the contaminants. Then, I will expel the contaminants. All right, now we don't have any more contaminants. All right, spawn in the dummy blob. All right, there we go. Dummy blob has been spawned in. I think I was at number six. All right, there we are. So now we can see what this does without the uh, contaminants obstructing our view. Oh, interesting. Over here, it's actually like you can see them being cycled around the saw blades. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what I just did. Oh, that's the shockwave emitter. Oh, is that the rocket launcher? Wait, everything is going now? Did I just enable like automatic mode? All right, I'm just gonna press all the buttons now. All right, I think I have uh, thoroughly tested the dummies here. <laughs> Thank you so much for your sacrifice, dummy blob. Hope we have to move on. All right, up next, we have Deadeye 479 by Lamalba1003. And this is such a little compact thing. Look at this. This is great. Does it actually, like, go? Okay, it aims. Okay, no, it doesn't go. This is just a stationary little thing. Okay. E and Q. What is Q going to do? Oh, Q attaches us to the ground. Probably has insane recoil considering its size. All right, and E. Whoa, 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 okay, well, let's actually aim more accurately at something, 
There we go. This is so cool. Seeing the line of bullets like that is really satisfying. That is awesome. Oh, just on the corner. That was actually kind of more epic than the middle, almost. All right, yet another unique instrument of destruction. Very simple, though. I love the design of it. The design looks so good. Well done on that. All right, let's move on. Oh, boy. Okay, this is not the right map for this. This is the TCCH Great Worm by Arad. And clearly, this is a desert worm. Oh, no. Does the head really stay up like that? Oh, that's epic. Okay. What? Oh, and it goes where the camera's pointing. But I want to watch the rest of it. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Okay, there's like more controls and everything. Okay, E. This is awesome. Wait, what are you even doing? Oh, these are like the, the excavator like claw things. That's such a cool aesthetic when you open up. I love that. All right, T. Wait, what is this? You can go even higher? It has like an alternate altitude? Oh, yes. This is such an awesome design. Very, very creative. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Look at it go through the building. I just created like a, a knot around this building, essentially. That is awesome. All right, this thing's really epic. Oh, I realized I can actually come towards the camera if I just press S. I'm a dumb dumb. Oh, look at this. Look at the body. This is such a cool creation. All right, if you ever wondered what it was like to be a snake, well, now you can. All right, let's move on. Up next is the Killer Bee Queen version three by Lunar Skull. Uh, and wait, what? I, did, I had no idea what to expect when I saw this. It makes bee sounds, kind of bee sounds, we're buzzing. This is actually really unsettling. This looks like one of those like horror blobs. It's just this amorphous blob that comes at you and like it, you can try to, you can try to shoot it, but it'll absorb all of the ammunition or it'll just like, it'll segment itself and then reabsorb into the same creature, so you can't actually defeat it. Wait, what did I do? I feel like I've just sent out my army of bees. I don't know what I just did, but that was the most epic thing I could have imagined with this creation. All right, now I'm going to press E again. Okay, this thing's amazing. This thing actually... It actually has a function to do like shield wall with like the magnets. What? Like, look at this. Wherever I aim, all of the, uh, I'm gonna call them bees because it says it's like killer queen bee. Wherever I aim now, all of the bees kind of create a wall in front of me. Look at that. And if I press E again, they, it's like a recall button. They come back to me. Oh, it's height. I can change my height. Oh, that's cool. All right, so now if I'm up high and I press E. Oh, whoa. That was even crazier than I thought it was. I think because these are all magnets and I just went towards like a metal pole. It looks like they went to attack, but I think I'm assuming that's just a magnetism. All right, I think F is to come down a little bit. Ready, here we go. Yeah, see, look at them. They're on the attack. Okay, here's a much bigger pillar. Okay, and... Oh, yep, that definitely looked like an attack. All right, and return. Return, bees. Protect me. All right, what happens if I go after it when I'm in a ball form? Yeah, it's about what you expect. I don't know how this creation works. I really don't understand how, how they're all programmed to, like, have those two different um, modes. That's really cool, though. All right, up next is the SW18A by Sue Fighter. Looks like some type of crazy bipedal walker thing. This looks like it's the front, but this looks like it has a face. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna press W. That's not what I was expecting. Is that not the walking functionality? Okay, you can see I can turn left and right. E is guns. G, what? What is that? G and F? Oh, okay. What is that? 
was that? What, what was that? Is that like shockwave thing? Oh. Oh, it's manual walking. Well, hold on. There's still arrows. Oh, we can aim and turn the head. Oh, this is creepy. All right, Y and H. There we go. Now I'm in the rhythm. Yeah, so you just gotta press two buttons. One button per leg. And it'll attach that leg to the ground. And then you can start walking. How do I, like, turn? I Oh, does it turn in the direction that you're facing, kind of? No. All right, I am finding it very hard to figure out how to turn this thing. But I am managing a little bit to get towards this building here. Okay, now E. There we go. We're doing some damage. But what does this do? Not that much damage, actually. Here, let's get a little bit closer. All right, this should be close enough. All right, F. That is such a cool, like, weapon concept. Like, I know it's just a shockwave generator, but the sound. It just sounds like it's a flashbang of sorts. And then it just does that effect. It, I don't know why. Like, so, people are able to use the same exact weapons in such weird ways that they just feel like new weapons. Another really, really unique build in this game. Like, there's some just crazy possibilities. All right, and then up last is this thing right here. This is the Adaptive Spider Walker by Undead. Oh, look at that face already. So apparently this thing tries to follow the camera. I don't know if that means it's like automatic or... I see what's going on here. Oh my God, look at this walking. Are you serious? Are you serious with this walking mechanic right now? Are you serious with this walking mechanic? This is probably one of the best, smoothest walking mechanics I've seen. Unless, oh, it could be. I don't want to set, yeah. I think this is actually, the legs are not what is actually supporting the uh, forward force. From what I can guess, the legs are just doing that animation, which is a very, very convincing animation. But I think it is technically hovering at this height using one of those fancy blocks. Yeah. Yeah, you can see as I go through, it really doesn't matter how many legs are in contact with the ground. But the legs might actually be what are um, pulling it off across the ground. They may not be supporting the weight. It's really hard to tell, but depending on what direction my camera is facing, it completely changes the leg animation too. So if I try to turn this way, you can see the legs actually adapt to do something completely different. All right, there's other buttons here though. Let's see. Oh, look at that. The mandibles can open. That's so cool. And then Q is to raise the legs, I think is what the description said. That's pretty awesome. What is G? What is that? Shots fired? Oh. Oh, we're making eggs. How do I make it stop? Oh, no way! That's awesome. It actually has a grappling hook out of the, out of the butt. We're a web slinger. That's really clever. But look, we can like, we can produce eggs. We just laid eggs. All right, well, let's see how this thing does actually walking through a building because this is instruments of destruction after all. Oh yeah, look at that, no problem. <laughs> Little spider den here. Um, nom 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 nom, even though I'm not eating anything. All right, well, let me know down in the comments below which one of these creations was your favorite. There's a lot of just really awesome stuff on here. It's hard to choose one, to be honest. But uh, if you guys enjoyed some stuff like this, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.